on a cold spring morning on March 24, 1999, in the skies over Yugoslavia, two B-2 stealth bombers are about to penetrate enemy airspace for the first time. Early on, we weren't sure. We weren't sure uh, what the enemy uh, was capable of seeing or anything like that. In fact, the first night of Operation Allied Force, uh, as the airplanes are flying into Serbia, there was a MiG engagement with an F-15 directly below the airplane. And it turns out the MiG had no idea that the B-2s were directly overhead. And hearing that report just started to really quickly build the confidence in stealth technology. In the cockpits, the two-man crew was entering its 14th hour of continuous flying. Having refueled over the Mediterranean Sea, they move into stealth mode as the sleek shapes of the B-2s vanish into the night sky. On the way there, you're, you're not so much nervous as you are anticipating what you're about to go through, but you're also taking advantage of the time that you have to prepare yourself to do it well. And so you spend time studying imagery and studying the targets and familiarizing yourself with where the threats might be. The two B-2s separate, one above the other, and climbing to combat altitude, begin their carefully choreographed bomb runs. The B-2 pilots have no chaff, no flares, no high-speed afterburner, and no missiles to fire back. They only have one thing to protect them, their stealth. Normally on a training mission, when we're just simulating uh, the release of weapons, we don't open the weapons bay doors. Obviously on a combat mission, when you're dropping weapons out, the doors do come open. And so there's drag on the airplane, there's noise on the airplane. There's a clunk when the weapon falls off the airplane. High over the target area, the aircraft shudders as weapons shoot out from its twin rotary launchers in the bomb bay of each B-2. Uh, the most unique aspect of it, which really kind of gave me the sense of, uh, hey, this is, this is for real, is my first release, when the weapons started to come out and you felt uh, the weapons dropping and being you know, discharged from the airplane, that's when the hairs on the back of my neck just started to kind of raise and I realized, hey, this is for real. 16 classified targets, 16 direct hits. 